On Daybreak, a shining a light on health disparities. It's National Minority Month, and doctors say black women are experiencing the severe effects of uterine fibroids. News 8's Amisha Ramsey is digging into the issue, and, and Amisha, you spoke to an expert about some non-surgical options. That's right, Hannah, and it's good for women to have options, and the data shows that. So right now, research shows up to 80% of women will develop uterine fibroid by the age of 50, and black women are three times more likely to develop them than women of other racial groups. Now, some will never know they have them, while for most, surgery is typically the next step. Now, Dr. Joshua Dowell, a radiologist with vascular and interventional physicians of Northwest Radiology, says that's not the only option for treatment. Fibroids are a problem for many women, but many don't know the cause of their symptoms. Now, Dr. Dowell says those suffering from them can experience heavy bleeding during and in between menstrual cycles. The benign tumors can push against organs, causing pain or discomfort, frequent urination, and infertility issues. Now, there are many treatment options, such as medication and surgical procedures including myomectomy or a hysterectomy. Now, Dahl says a hysterectomy is the main treatment option. However, some women might not need the surgery. He is now spreading the awareness about uterine fibroid immobilization, better known as UFE. Now, Dahl says it is a safe and effective non-surgical option for treating fibroids. We do the procedures by snaking a catheter around through the arteries and just through a needle stick and finding the, the vessels that feed the fibroids. And so from there, we put small little beads to try to slow the blood supply down to the fibroids and starve the mother blood supply. And by doing that, you shrink the fibroids. So a woman still has a uterus and they still have preserved fertility, um, but the fibroids can shrink down over time. And so it shrinks down by volume about 40%. And so it decreases in size. And for over 90, 95% of women, the shrinkage of the fibroids is enough to actually take care of their symptoms. And so the vast majority of these women don't need to actually have a hysterectomy or go on to have surgery for it. Now, UFE is an outpatient procedure. That means women can go home the same day. The procedure also gives women a shorter recovery time. Dr. Dahl hopes that more women will consider UFE as a treatment option. Now, VIP is the first clinic in the state to offer interventional radiology services to patients outside of the hospital. I'm live in the newsroom, Amisha Ramsey for WishTV, WishTV.com, and like us on Facebook. Amisha, thank you. It is 9-11.